Hundreds of people enjoy the annual Tamale Festival in Atascadero today. News Channel reporter Cristina Rodriguez has their story. Tamales, tamales, tamales de chile verde, de pollo, de mole oaxaqueño. Tamale lovers from across the central coast came together in Atascadero for the annual Tamale Festival. I love it. Rain or shine, I'm here. It's like the third year I've been, so it's super fun. Tamale makers made a variety of choices from meats, cheese, to dessert tamales. My first tamale, I had a pork tamale, and the second round I went for sweet, and I had a sweet corn and a pineapple tamale. Tamales, 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 next, next. Yoli Ortiz has been making tamales for the community of Paso Robos for 20 next. years. We all are very happy and blessed, right? Because since we arrived, thank God we haven't stopped. She says she loves people to taste her Mexican-style tamales, chili slices and cheese, and we have this one with pork, and they are filled with plenty of meat. Urtiz didn't sleep for 48 hours to make 2,000 tamales. I think it was worth not sleeping for two nights making tamales. Locals say it's important to celebrate each ethnicity that makes the Central Coast. It's embracing the culture that we all have around here, and I know a lot of people come in from around the area and out of town to be here, so embracing the Spanish community and the uh, traditions that we have here. How many tamales? In Atascadero, I'm News Channel reporter Cristina Rodriguez.